kilio cha mtoto ambaye amezaliwa kilio ambacho hapana shaka uwapa wazazi furaha kubwa na kuadhimisha mwanzo wa siha ulimwenguni hali ya kuwa mama mzazi kila mara ni ya kuridhisha kwa wanawake wengi lakini kwa wengine wengi swala hili mara nyingi linahusishwa na matatizo maradhi na hata vifo Hapa nchini Kenya inakisiwa kwamba kati wa watoto 1100 wanaozaliwa takriban 360 hufariki kutokana na matatizo ya huja uzito. Hali hii husababisha vifo 1500 kila mwaka kutokana sababu zinazoweza kuepukika. Ni kutokana na sababu hii ambapo mama wa taifa Magret Kenyatta kwa muda wa miaka sita amejitolea kuhakikisha maslahi kamili ya akina mama hususan afya yao ya ujauzito ambayo inahusisha mpangilio wa uzazi afya kabla na baada ya kujifungua inayolenga kupunguza vifo vya akina mama na maradhi miongoni mwa watoto Akiwa mtetezi mkuu wa kampeni ya kupunguza vifo vya akina mama wanapojifungua karma, mama wa taifa amevalia njuga azma ya kuhakikisha hakuna mama anafariki anapojifungua na kwamba watoto wote nchini Kenya wanastahili kusherehekea mwaka wao wa tano baada ya kuzaliwa. Serikali za kaunti zinaunga mkono kikamilifu hatua muhimu za mama wa taifa kuhakikisha kuna vifo vya mama wanapojifungua. Katika kaunti ya Nakuru na Makueni, kukamilika kwa wodi za kisasa kwa manufaa ya kina mama na watoto ni hatua zinazoleta mabadiliko hapa. Kaunti hizi mbili ni za kwanza chini ya mfumo wa ugatuzi kuanzisha wodi maalum zenye vifaa kamili kwa ajili ya afya ya kina mama hii ikiwa ni moja ya mkakati ya kuhakikisha afya bora kwa wote chini ya mpango wa nguzo nne kuu za maendeleo kwa jumla hospitali hizo za huduma maalum kwa akina mama wajawazito zitanufaisha kaunti 14 ikiwemo Nakuru, Nyandarua, Kericho, Baringo, Narok, Laikipia, Samburu, Kiambu, Nyeri, Makueni, Kitui, Machakos, Kajiado na Taita Taveta. Hivi majuzi mkewe rais Margaret Kenyatta alizindua wodi kubwa ya kisasa ya kutoa huduma maalum kwa kina mama na watoto katika hospitali kuu ya Nakuru. Ni maadhimisho ya mafanikio makubwa katika safari yake ya kuhakikisha afya bora kwa wote. Wodi hii iliyogharimu kiasi cha shilingi milioni 550 imepewa jina la Mama Margaret Kenyatta ikiwa ishara ya kutambua azma yake ya kuboresha afya kwa akina mama na watoto hasa kupunguza idadi ya vifo vya mama wanapojifungua na watoto wanaozaliwa. Well, we were approaching the completion of this particular facility. We were confronted with the question of what we would name the facility. And your excellency many names were considered, but when your name was brought on the table, there would be no name that would be better than yours. It is a crowning of your five, six years of hard work in that sector. And indeed, we found that all that this hospital stands for is also what you stand for. Wodi ya mama na watoto ya Margaret Kenyatta ni ya kuvutia na ya kipekee katika hospitali hiyo ya Nakuru ya kiwango cha level 5 iliyojengwa kwenye ekari 75 za ardhi. Vifaa vinavyopatikana katika wodi hii mpya yenye vitanda 260 ni kitengo cha kina mama wajawazito, wodi ya baada ya kujifungua, wodi ya kufanikisha kina mama uzazi wa kina mama, vyumba vinne vya upasuaji, vyumba vya wagonjwa mahututi kwa watoto wanaozaliwa na vitengo stini vya watoto kukua. Wodi hii itapunguza wasiwasi wa kutokea kwa vifo vya kina mama wanapojifungua na watoto wanaozaliwa katika eneo la Nakuru ambavyo kwa sasa 
ni 381 kati watoto 1100 wanaozaliwa ikilinganishwa na vifo 332 kati watoto 1100 katika kiwango cha kitaifa. Wodi hii kubwa ambayo itapunguza msongamano kwenye hospitali kuu ya Nakuru level 5 itahudumia kaunti nane ambapo watoto 30 uzaliwa kila siku. Even as we invest into a service delivery point like this we are considering the surrounding counties which we look unto our upon us to be able to give them the refer of services so we are looking at nyandaro we are looking at naro we are looking at laikipia baringo kericho and even all the way to saburu because when they have a refer case they transport the patients to us and we have no alternative than to take care of them. Wiki moja baada ya kufunguliwa, wodi hii imeanza kusajili idadi kubwa ya kina mama na utafuta huduma za kabla na baada ya kujifungua. Idadi hiyo imeongezeka kutoka watoto 30 waliokuwa wakizaliwa awali kila siku katika hospitali hii kuu ya Nakuru level 5 na kufikia watoto kati ya 40 na hamsini the numbers have increased almost double there's an average of uh, around 40 to 50 normal deliveries and the css have over an average of between 12 to 15 per day that translates to around a uh, estimate figure of 1500 deliveries per month those are normal deliveries and the, the css around 450 that's almost the double the workload that we had from the those statistics showed us to you that mothers now have started embracing the the you know units Mary Injeri Mwangi mama wa miaka 29 aliye na watoto wawili pamoja na Teresia Wanjiru Kariuki wa miaka 33 wote wamejifungua kwa njia ya kawaida na wamekiri kwamba walikuwa wameazimia kujifungua katika hospitali za kibinafsi hadi waliposhuhudia mama wa taifa akizindua wodi hii mpya hapa Nakuru mapema mwezi uliopita hii unit nilione ikifuguliwa kwa TV hata siku awe kuna unit kama hii vile niliona mpango wangu ulikuwa niende private but i changed my mind after kuona hii sasa tunafurahi sana atungeshukuru mama wa taifa kulingana na vile nilikuwa nimepanga nilikuwa nimepanga nitaenda mahali fulani lakini kasikia hii mama amefungua nikaona kwa TV vile ilivyo nzuri kasema pia mimi nitakuja. Na sababu nilikuwa nimejifungulia mtoto wangu wa kwanza hapa medical nikasema tu nitakuja tu hapa medical. Lakini sasa nikilinganisha pale nilikuwa tumejifungulia ile mara ya kwanza ile maternity ya kwanza na hii. Iko na space na hii ni kubwa na ni nzuri. Zema tumaini kwamba hospitali hii itaimarisha huduma za afya katika eneo hili zima kwa kutoa matibabu mbalimbali ikiwemo huduma kwa mama wajawazito, huduma za matibabu kwa watoto wachanga na uzazi wa akina mama kutambua saratani pamoja na tiba dhidi ya maradhi kama hayo. This hospital will enhance health services in this region by providing treatment for a wide range of services from maternity to pediatric gynecological conditions to diagnostic for cancer and related oncology services Mkewe rais pia alielezea furaha kwamba wodi hiyo mpya itapunguza idadi ya vifo vya kina mama wanaojifungua katika eneo hili ambalo limeorodheshwa nambari 4 kati ya maeneo 15 yaliyo na idadi kubwa ya vifo miongoni mwa kina mama alisema kuna ushahidi kwamba maoni rasilimali na ushauri wa kitaaluma uliweka mwongozo wa kuanzisha wodi hii It is the first of its kind in this region and I thank the county government of Nakuru for their commitment to contribute towards the government's agenda of universal health coverage for all. As I toured the hospital it was evident that a lot of thought, resources and professional consultation guided the planning of this health facility. Yeah. <laughs> 
huku maadhimisho miongoni mwa akina mama katika eneo la Nakuru yakifikia upeo wa juu wa huduma wa afya katika kaunti ya Makueni nao wamo mbioni kuzindua wodi ya pili ya huduma maalum pia kwa manufaa ya akina mama na watoto hospitali hii ya kaunti ya Makueni iliyogharimu shilingi milioni 130 iko tayari kwa uzinduzi to equip this uh, 120 bed facility uh, and its construction has taken us about 135 million Kenya shillings uh, which is uh, about 110 million Kenya shillings for builders works and uh, 25 million uh, Kenya shillings for equipping the facility is uh, uh, equipped uh, we are doing final touches and we expect uh, to have it operational uh, very soon Hospitali hii yenye vitanda 120 imejengwa kwenye ekari 24 zinazojumuisha pia hospitali ya rufaa ya Makueni. Vifaa katika wodi hospitali hiyo ni pamoja na vyumba viwili vya upasuaji, vyumba vya kujifungulia, vyumba vya huduma za kabla na baada ya kujifungua na huduma za afya ya uzazi wa wanawake, vitengo moja vya watoto pamoja na kitengo cha wagonjwa mahututi cha watoto wanaozaliwa. Licha ya umbali hadi hospitali hiyo kuwa bado changamoto kubwa katika eneo hilo pana vitengo hivyo vipya kwa kina mama wanaojifungua ni zawadi kuu kwa kaunti tano jirani ambapo wakina mama watapokea huduma bayana na maalum kinyume na matatizo wanayokumbana nayo katika hospitali za kawaida This facility targets to get mothers from not just from Makweni but from uh, surrounding counties of Kitui, Machakos, Kajiado, Taita Taveta uh, so that this becomes a, a, a specialist referral center and a center of excellence. Gavana wa kaunti ya Nakuru Li Kinyanjui na mwenzake wa Makueni Profesa Kivuta Kibwana wametambua juhudi za mama wa taifa pamoja na malengo yake kwa afya ya kina mama wanaojifungua ambavyo vilikuwa vishawishi muhimu vya kuanzisha hospitali hiyo We uh, had the first lady uh, our excellency Margaret Kenyatta visiting us uh, for the Beyond Zero program and uh, as we discussed also this uh, uh, issue with her she thought also it was a very very good uh, program uh, to follow in terms of what also she was doing in terms of of her maternal health and make provision a special provision for women and for young uh, children vikiwa vituo vya kupigia mifano na kwa mujibu wa sera ya serikali ya huduma za afya kwa kina mama wajawazito hospitali hizo mbili zitatoa huduma bila malipo kwa kina mama wanaojifungua kando na kuendelea kutoa mafunzo kwa wahudumu The nursing staff in nursery I have uh, around 20 nurses and then we have also nurses who are on trainings so we work with the students and the nursing staff who are there Kutokana na hospitali hizo mbili wahudumu wengine wa afya wataajiriwa kwa lengo la kutoa huduma bora kwa kina mama uh, The old hospital I have around 30 nurses in the maternity but here i expect to have double the numbers we are planning to increase the number of workers and even as the service delivery uh, goes on there will be other expenses that will be discovered on the way gharama imetambuliwa kuwa changamoto za kunufaika na huduma za kujifungua kote nchini kwa hivyo huduma isiyolipiwa katika hospitali hizo mbili ni mkakati mwafaka wa kuhakikisha upatikanaji na utumizi wa huduma ilivyotajika katika mpango wa kutoa afya bora kwa wote. Our services is 100% free courtesy of the Linda Mama program. So issues of being expensive or they should not arise because mothers come work in here, they deliver, they go home with their babies happy. They don't pay even a single shilling. Mbinu moja ya kujifungua itakuwa gumzo mjini. The Magical Aquabath Facility. Katika ward ya hospitali ya Makueni ambayo ni taasisi ya kwanza na ya kipekee nchini, wanawake watakuwa na chaguo la kujifungua katika eneo la maji yenye vuguvugu. We even have uh, uh, aquabath facilities 
because we believe beyond the normal uh, public health services, we can have some premium services that offered uh, in this facility. Huu ni mkakati mpya unaobadilisha mbinu za kazi katika hospitali za ardhi ya juu kote duniani. Kwa hivyo, makweni ni ya kwanza hapa nchini na huenda ikawa ya kwanza katika kanda ya Afrika Mashariki. Profesa Kibwana alipongeza azma ya ugatuzi akisema kaunti zimeendelea kujifunza kutoka kwa nyingine kuhusu nini muhimu kinaweza kutekelezwa kwa raia. When you do something in one county, another county uh, when we do benchmarking is able to also want to do the same thing. And uh, that is really uh, giving a lot of impetus to devolution. For example, uh, Governor Ngilu came to Makwene. She saw what we are doing about universal health care. And then she went to Kitui and uh, started uh, a similar universal uh, health care. Uh, in other areas, uh, you find that, for example, in Laikipia, they are doing very well in terms of uh, uh, making people get into NHIF. Uh, so again, as Mokweni, we go there and we look at uh, what is it that they are achieving and we copy. Professor Kibwana alikiri kwamba watala maalum watasalia kuwa changamoto katika hospitali hizo mbili na utoaji wa huduma ya afya kwa ujumla. We have challenges of uh, personnel, especially pa specialist personnel and uh, you know one wishes that we could get a way of training even specialists together so that we can have uh, an abundance of uh, this uh, especially it takes a bit of time to uh, to, to, to train them uh, so um, I think when you provide properly for the health of the people they're in a position to work uh, and and it is it is it is it is one of the things that as a country uh, if you do it well uh, then that is a, a big plus and